What's going on, everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cards back at say Sunday, and we have another little weekend recap video just to show you what I picked up over this weekend. I only went out Sunday. Uh, I had a pretty busy weekend, so I only got one day to really find some cool stuff, and didn't spend too much. I got one lot for fifteen, the other lot for twenty. So I mean, not a crazy weekend. We have to save those crazy weekends for those card shows and some exploring some new flea markets and stuff. But flea markets are picking back up outdoor ones gotta start traveling a lot more but let's see what i brought home today so this lot on top i got for 15 this uh card on top was free the nice tony goslin for diamond kings beautiful card there i think i already have in, in the pc but he threw this one for free so i just had to take it so awesome card there then we have a corbin was it corbin burns there it is yeah corbin burns rookie card guy's been on a tear you're gonna see him show up in our next uh mail day video because he has some stuff coming in the mail and i might be changing that around so i because i got a lot of mail and i just don't want to keep doing mail video mail video so we'll have to change that around and show you something a little different but beautiful card there this is all 15 bucks i think this is a buck so really good deal we got a Francisco Lindor rookie card. This is numbered out of $4.99 from Panini. Awesome card. $8 on that. But I, I got like, I made him an offer. So awesome card. Number out of $4.99, like I said. Really cool card. Nice player. Don't have a lot of his rookie cards. I know I have his updates. And uh, we're getting, we're almost getting uh, like a, quite a bit. But still some, still some stuff out there for me to collect for him. So very nice card there. Glad I, gra glad I grabbed that. I just woke up from a nap and I'm still a little sleepy. Uh, and then we have this really nice card that I like. Uh, it had, it's a uh, 2016 qu uh, quad patch relic. I can get that out. Has some nice players on it. No one groundbreaking, but it does have a nice uh, Kyle Schwarber and Kenta Maeda. That was a good one. And a Corey Seager. So nice four patch rookie card from 2016. Just beautiful. So it's from Immaculate. Don't have tons of Immaculate cards, but this one was this one was twelve dollars, and he said I'll give it for you to nine. So I just made an offer on all of them, and very nice, very nice cards. Number ninety out of ninety nine. So just very beautiful card of you know three solid players. I would say probably Kyle Schwarber is the real reason I bought it because I only have like one rookie card of him. I have a lot of Corey Seager and uh, Kenta Maeda I have a lot of, but only one Kyle Schwarber, so I had to pick that one up. Very cool, very nice. Wish it was like all oh, multicolor, but nope. So that was 15, that was 15 all together from a seller at the show place in Binghamton. Definitely check them out, they're fantastic. There's a, uh, I saw, I saw more sports cards today in a while, actually. I went to show place and I, um, I went to PJ's and uh, I went to Conklin, Jamay's, Jim, and then uh, I went to the Emporium at Wego. And I mean, I saw more sports cards than I've seen in a while, so it was very nice to see. Didn't buy a lot, but I definitely they're they're out there. I almost bought this Lou Brock rookie card for you know two hundred and twenty five dollars. It was just a very great condition. I just didn't want to purchase that knowing I already have it in my PC. But very cool to see. Next, this was twenty dollars all together. Um, for some cool cards, a lot more baseball than I'm usually buying, but very cool. Some stuff that I once had, I think I sold off like here and there. But let's just check it out and see see what we got. So I don't know price wise, pricing wise. Uh, I think this these penny sleeves were like fifty cents card, like fifty cent cards. So a nice Charlie Morton rookie card from two thousand two. Awesome. I think that's a genuine rookie card, not like a prospect from 2003 or 4. I think that's genuine 2002. I think that's his rookie year, but did not check it while I saw it. I just think I thought I knew it, so I just went with it. Very nice, solid pitcher. <laughs> Young looking Charlie Morin. Definitely very cool to see from Upper Deck. Then we have a Johnu Smith. So I've been thinking about buying some Johnu Smith cards in a while, like for a while. I had them in my eBay uh, cart, but. Some autograph stuff, and they were got taken away as soon as he got traded to the Patriots. But I do got Hunter Henry Auto for the Patriots, so we'll see. We'll see how these two do. I know they're both tight ends, so didn't want to spend too much, but at least I got something, something base. So 
Nice 50 cent card for Johnny Smith. So, very nice though. This 2017 class is ridiculous, ridiculously good. Next one, we have a Shy, uh, was it She? I think it might be She, but it's, I think it's She Gilgaris Alexander. Shy Gilgaris Alexander. Nice freshman phenoms from uh, Prism Insert. So, nice rookie card for him. I have his regular base and his pink, his pink prism. I, don't know, I got that out of a box. So, solid player. Don't have tons of him, but just a beautiful looking card. For 50 cents, I just had to, had to pick it up. So, he's not on the, he's, I mean, Thunder, I think, got smacked the other day. But, they're young the organization, and they're making some moves. So, might be big time players in the next, you know, two, three seasons. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, not a bad, not a bad card to pick up for 50 cents. Put that right there. I'm going to re-sleeve up all these cards with some fresh penny, penny sleeves and nice top loaders. Which, I'm very happy that a whole shipment of top loaders got sent to me in the mail. So, very cool. Next, we have a Nick Solik. Tops update rookie card. Did not know much about this guy, but I saw he was on MLB's, uh, what was it? MLB's team of the month for all the players. He was on there, so I had to pick him up. Very cool there. Didn't he? I was very hard to find. <laughs> very hard to find this guy out of you know boxes and boxes of cards. Did not have the regular base. I think he's in series one. I think it's one forty nine. But this is his update version, which I thought was very cheap. So fifty cents, pretty good deal. Yeah, just funny. Like I think I've had this card, you know, multiple times on the channel and just never. You know, held on to it, just moved into it like a 5,000 count box and moved it. So now I gotta go actually even buy it. One disadvantage of moving all your stuff. Next, we have another Corbin Burns. So this is his, what is this, Heritage? Yeah, this is his Heritage rookie card. So we got his regular tops Heritage, and we'll have him showing up in our mail day video. Beautiful card there. Like I said, 50 cents, great deal. Great deal for some of these players. I like spent two hours looking for cards, just get fifty cent cards. But eh, that's just that's the hobby. You gotta enjoy looking through cards, and this is a very beautiful card. Next one, we have another guy that I've had in my uh, hands several times, just uh, to give away. We got a Ian Anderson. So I said a couple of weeks back when we talked about him that you know this guy is a uh, he's pretty solid. So watch out for him and. I just had to go out and get some Ian Anderson cards. This is from opening day, so not his worst one. This was $3. Everything was half off. $3 there, and we got his regular tops one right here. So 6 bucks all together. I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, I'll get him in new top loaders. looking nice, but funny. Funny, I had these cards and just had to let them go. So definitely opening day was nice, but I... Opening day doesn't just sell as good as regular as regular series, so that was a very cool looking card to get. And not the super not super expensive yet. I see this card going a little more later on, like selling for six dollars instead of selling for three. But very good player. We'll see how he does. I'm excited to see the updated version. Uh, well, update this year for 2021. Next player we got, I picked up a nice Matt Ryan rookie card. Not the biggest name in the world, but for three bucks, I'll take it. I was watching the draft and I saw they picked up that, like, the best prospect in, like, draft history with that tight end. One, a pure athlete. So hopefully he's going to start performing. So a nice Matt Ryan there. Beautiful, beautiful card. I think he's on his last leg, so. Any, any playoff berth would be great for them just to get this card back up to where it could be. Matty Ice. Just known to... Just couldn't finish. Couldn't finish in the Super Bowl. So. But still, nice card. I, I really like it. Um, Premier Prospects. Beautiful looking card from a rookie. So, very cool there. Next we have Isaiah Simmons. I don't know what parallel this is. But I've been big on Isaiah Simmons since he got drafted last year. And, you know, I wanted the Giants to pick him up to, for a defensive presence. We didn't. And his season wasn't that great. But with the Cardinals making all their moves and stuff, I thought this card was an awesome deal for, like, less than 3 bucks. And I don't know what type of variation this is. Some ice-type 
thing, but very beautiful looking card. Just watch that glow. I have a couple of autographs from Isaiah Simmons, but this card just really looked like something that I would buy. So very nice card. I, I love it. So we'll see what happens with him. We'll see what happens with the Cardinals. They're making a lot of moves. So hopefully they go up and a lot of their players start performing well. Two cards left. We got a nice Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown rookie card. Nice patch for him. I, th I think I have a... I don't know. I don't know if I have a patch. I know I have a patch of AJ Brown. I know I have a patch in auto of DK Metcalf. But Hollywood Brown, I don't think. I think he's eluded me. So, beautiful card there. This is numbered 37 out of 49. Yeah, from Majestic. Beautiful, beautiful looking card. I wish it was multicolor patch, but it wasn't. So, this was six bucks. Definitely, definitely take that. We'll see how the Ravens do. Solid team there. But beautiful, beautiful card. So, just some cards you just gotta sit back and appreciate. I think this is a great, and it was number two for six bucks. The last card I got, the last card of the video was a throwback from my childhood, a really iconic player for a good, you know, couple years. Especially, I think he has had the best football play in of the 21st century until you know. Um, it's like Odell's catch and um, just I, a lot of other plays have come, but for a, for a short time this was a very very hot player just because what he did. So we have a nice triple patch auto rookie card of Jerome Simpson. Now if you don't remember Jerome Simpson, he's that guy who did the flip into the end zone. I don't remember what team you were playing, but he flipped over a guy and landed on his feet, and, and it was just. Played constantly on highlight films and on ESPN, and just for it just did not go away. And I think it still still is around in top you know football plays in history or whatever. But very cool, very nice triple patch. I did. I don't know what price he had on this. He didn't have it on the card, so I can't expect it being anything more. Probably very cheap for the whole lot being twenty bucks. So very cool. Not a huge name. Not the, I mean, not a Hall of Famer by any means, but just an, kind of a, a cool player who had an iconic moment that lives in the NFL forever. Like David Tyree, another player who has an iconic moment, and just he's not gonna, he's not a Hall of Fame player. He's just not, not even a, um, you know, and not an All Star, but like a Pro Bowl, not even a Pro Bowl player. But Jerome Simpson, very cool, very cool patch, triple patch, also authentic, event worn. Event worn, authentic event worn. So not game worn, but still, I didn't even know there was a auto on it. To be honest, I just thought it was the three three uh, patches. But very cool from a guy that lived in the NFL forever. So that was it. That was my weekend. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys liked the cards I picked up. Hope you picked up some great cards too. So that's it. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.